All right, there is no question who the greatest Rebel quarterback is. Randall Cunningham was drafted in 1985 by the Philadelphia Eagles. Ron Futrell was there when Cunningham was covering his big draft experience. And I know one thing, you're thinking he doesn't look that old, but <laughs> hey, Ron, you talked to him just today, huh? Yes, indeed, once again. Yeah, Chris, it was 1985. Randall was drafted by the Philadelphia Eagles, ninth player in the second round. He was the first quarterback taken that year. Now, he went 11-2 and two as a Rebel his senior year here, won the California Bowl. Yes, there was a time when the Rebel football team was pretty good. Randall was All-American as a punter, also at UNLV. Now, he was also a little over-anxious that day on draft day 36 years ago. It was mind-boggling. It was hectic. It was... Uh exciting exhilarating but at the same time I, I couldn't handle it it was it was too much i was sitting at my house with an espn reporter and they were monitoring me and my expressions and everything so we watched the first round go by and when i didn't get drafted in the first round i couldn't handle it i said uh you know maybe it was my pride or whatever but i said you know i gotta go shopping or something i'm just i don't want to watch you know the rest of it so we went to the Boulevard Mall back then, and uh, I came back to my apartment, and uh, one of our, our teammates from UNLV, Alan Gardenhire, he said, congratulations, you got drafted by the Philadelphia Eagles in the second round. I said, what? I said, stop playing, man, because I was all messed up because I really wanted to be a first-round pick. And he says, check your answer machine. So I checked my answer machine, and uh, Lynn Stiles uh, from the Philadelphia Eagles says, hey, Randall Cunningham, we drafted you as a ninth pick uh, in the second round. Uh, and you're going to be a Philadelphia Eagle, so please call me at this number, the 215-Philadelphia uh, number. And I called him, and sure enough, I had been drafted, so I, I kind of relaxed. So I'm thinking, all right, I'm about to go collect that check. I, I remember talking to you. I don't know if you remember this, but I remember going to the airport and meeting you at the airport and chatting with you there. You had a, a little more hair <laughs> back then. That's <laughs> great. And, and you had, yeah, but, but there was a lot of excitement in your voice back then of, of hey, I'm going – it's happening. This is finally, they drafted me, and I'm going, I'm going to be a quarterback in the NFL. I was very excited. I was hoping to go to the, to the Raiders or to the San Diego Chargers so I could stay on the West Coast, but I landed in Philadelphia. And Keep that Bruce Dodge down, big fella. Don't go to Detroit, Randall Rodney, if the tight end has outside technique by that Bronco guy. You know, okay. I mean, you know he's got a clean release, that's a possibility versus a linebacker type guy. Trajectory, location, rhythm on every one of your slants. Here we go. Good job, CT. Great route, man. Great route. Bro, why you got to kill him like this today? Give me some, man. Immediately, I was, the reporters just swarmed me, and I was not used to that. And one of the questions they asked me, how does it feel being a black quarterback in the NFL or in Philadelphia? And I quickly kind of shrugged off. I said, well, you know, I'm, being in, I'm, I'm in South Philadelphia, so I thought I was Italian. And I just didn't want to answer the question. You said you, said you were Italian? Yeah, I said, I'm in, I'm in South Philly. I'm, I'm Italian. So I just didn't want to answer the question because I wasn't prepared for that. Oh, he may not have been prepared for that, but he was prepared for his career. 16 years in the NFL, four Pro Bowls. And he's done so much for the Vegas community since then. So go to our website, 8newsnow.com. You can watch the entire 12-minute interview with Randall. We'll have more right after this.